I love working here in Arizona. I moved here on purpose because I just like the natural beauty and, and everything about it. But what I really love doing is helping women. I grew up with a single mother and it was just her and myself. And I saw how hard she worked and the struggles she had and how she was treated. You know, we were on welfare a couple of times and when we would go to the, the um, office for her to get renewals or get her welfare money they would treat us like we were just less than nothing. And I remember that. I just remember how mean and rude. And, and I, I always said I will never treat anybody like that. And so watching her really try to give me the best opportunities, I feel that I need to pay that forward and do it for other women. So I love working for an organization like Arizona Foundation for Women and really helping women be their best selves and know that they have opportunities and there are people out there that can help them. So it's so important. I, I talk to people all the time and have these conversations where they say my vote doesn't matter, my vote doesn't count. And then I realize they don't really understand the whole process. And that if they really understood the difference between how the votes are counted and how, you know, as constituents, they're, you know, let's say it's their state representative or their council person, those they take into account their constituents and how they feel and what they want. And so if they don't express that and share that, then they are right, their vote doesn't count. And they're the ones who are making their vote not count. And so just like at Arizona Foundation for Women, we talk about she counts, like a woman counts. And I have this she necklace that represents the she of safety, health, health and economic empowerment. And then the C is she counts. And so your vote counts. And as women, we pretty much still majority have the decisions in our household from buying the clothes to the food and that's just fact and so we have that power to stimulate our economy and so if women were given the same type of pay income at men at their equal level and if, you know for experience and education just imagine how much earnings will go out into our community and help us thrive even better. And so a woman's vote is so critical and crucial to our economic economy and to how we live in the community. So I, I really, really, really want women to stop saying that my vote doesn't count because they have no idea how much it counts. I think it's really important early on to understand the whole process from what does it mean at the House or versus the Senate, how does your vote count even at the city level, the county level, the state level, really understanding that process and then going further than that. You know, most people, they'll vote at the presidential time, you know, every four years when it's time to get a new president. But what have you done within those four years for your community and having a voice? So starting off young. You know, taking, it'd be great, I know it's hard for a lot of schools, but if they could just put a sliver of some type of civic learning in our curriculum at even at a low, young age, and make it fun, you know, so that, you know, have like mock uh, competitions for people to run for, you know, you have your, your classmen and they, your classwoman, but start lower and have different types of things where they make decisions. You know, it could be the, the menu for the lunch or what time is recess, you know, anything, but just make it fun, make it engaging so they understand and then show them how the voting counts. And I think as we, you know, it becomes a learned behavior. So that would be my recommendation is let's start early, let's start young, and then it's never too late. I learned about it probably in my mid thirties when I really understood, I went and took a class that was free at a community organization in the um, state I used to live in, and I was shocked at what I didn't know and then how important it was to vote. I really understood that after that. So starting early and educating ourselves continuously on the process.